And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor. G'day, welcome along. I'm Alex. And I'm going to shoot out some <laughs> pedals today. That's right. The ZVX Box of Rocks, Box of Rock, and the Lawrence Petros Design 68. Yes. So, 68 is based on one of Lawrence's favorite Plexi <coughs> style amps. The Box of Rock is based on an on a Plexi style Marshall thing. Mm. Box of Rock has been probably one of my favorite overdrive pedals forever sure um since the 1800s and <laughs> no but since i got my first box of rock which was a long long time ago it's I've always had one on my pedal board yep. and i'm wondering if the 68 could possibly be as good or not better we should find out stick around if you'd like to find out ding notification bell gives a thumbs up Please subscribe do. that helps us do our thing but 90 percent of our viewers are not subscribed and i'm looking at you subscribe now please Anyway, was so it angry? Was, yeah. it, was it too much too angry? <laughs> so the setup today for the pedals is going through an Monstrous amp switcher into a Cherry Tone OTS Mini Twenty Fender style, a uh, ice cap with a greenback, Mike to Lewitt MTP four forty. Okay. Also two notes torpedo cap decks doing stereo IRs for quad boxes. There's a video for that here. Now, yes, this, should we do it? But just to do it, yeah. Yes. Uh, now. I was fine with a box of rock, personally. This is just my personal opinion on a box of rock. You've got to have the boost on all the time because that's the magic sauce. Right. That gives it that little bit of sprinkle on the top. Okay. Because um, it has, um, you know, a little bit of kind of characteristics of a, like top end kind of presence kind of characteristics to it. Okay. So, um, so that's the boost. That's the knob for the boost. And then they've got um, volume, tone, and gain basically for the... Is the boost drive. separate? Yes. Okay, so I have to turn it off every time, yeah. Yes. Okay, sweet. Yeah. But the thing is, like what I used to do with the Box of Rock, it was always on. So that was basically my clean sound. Because yep. the way the way I would have used it is um, going into like a Fender amp. Most gigs that I used to play, you, the first audible sound is basically too loud for the venue. Um, so <laughs> uh, you have it, you know, a very clean sound. And to give it a bit of character, character and, 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 and chutzpah, uh, yeah. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's a word. Uh, uh, I used to have that on, and that gave it sort of that broken, clean, broken up clean sound kind of characteristics to me. Mm. And then I used to run everything else into it, so that was one of the last things in the chain. I had a boost afterwards for volume boost, okay. but all my drives, everything went into that. That was sort of like my amp, almost. Sure. Uh, and I wonder if the 68 can work in similar ways. And then I also wonder, and stay tuned for that right at the end, how they sound together. Ooh. Will they be harmonious? Find out. <laughs> All right, do you want to start? Sure. Um, oh, and Alex, so what is yes. that guitar that you're playing there, Alex? Could you tell me by any chance? Wow. Uh, this is a Sire S7FM, mm -hmm. and this is um, fancy a super strat kind of thing with humbucker in the bridge and single coils elsewhere. I call it the Fancy Man. It's actually Flame Maple. That's what the FM stands for because it's a Flame Maple veneer. But oh, yeah. I call it the Fancy Obviously, Man. Obviously, it's Flame Maple. <laughs> There's actual there's a there's a maple cap yeah. on it, but then flame maple mm. on top of that. So can uh, you can watch the unboxing video for all the um, size stuff there. Okay, clean sound. And the crackles okay. See what I mean? Without even boosting volume, you turn it on and it just adds the top end to it and it just sounds, I mean, just, just to hear the difference, right? Yeah, yeah. Just brings it to life. So without boosting volume, you know, just really just for the, the tone of it. Okay, well, let's have a look. Let's, let's, which one's which? I should Gain, know these things. Gains, that's volume, yeah. So yeah. it's hard to see. It's the... Talking about Fancy Man, this is the Fancy Man version of the Box of Rock. Yes. Um, the one on my board is one of the Vexter, which to me sounds exactly the same, but um, you can actually see what the knob says. Did we do a shootout between the painted version? We did ages ago. If you want to see a, an old yeah. video that was really bad, probably. But we did a shootout <laughs> between that and the Vexter version to see if the paint actually makes mm. a difference. Uh, it's some quality watch viewing that right video there. there. Um, okay. If you're super bored. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
This is probably roughly the way I would have had it set. Like right. low gain. Um, if you really dig in, it gives you a little bit of but it was just character, right? Definitely. Uh, okay, so that's let's go start low gainy and let's go to this. similar characteristics feels a bit different it feels different mm. in, in what, do tell Alex in what way because I haven't I haven't tried it out yet so I'm I'm Interesting. so what, what what are your thoughts they sound quite similar this has a bit more like bass to it low mids I think it like, yeah. feels fatter feels fatter however this one feels like a pedal this one feels like an amp aha uh -huh. well let me try that then see what you think so I'm playing my Fano on this MG6. Not good or bad, just just how. That was up there. That was a video yeah. on the unboxing of that. Okay, now well, I mean that's the thing. A lot of it, that's what when I first heard about Lawrence Petros, and I think I mentioned this before. It was at 42 Gear Street, and I was sitting there. Uh, we were talking. It was mm. myself, it was RJ Ronquillo, um, or Ronquillo, uh, Ronquillo. He says Ronquillo, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, no. Uh, RJ. Uh, Phil McKnight, no, you give Phil McKnight, uh, Stephen Boston, <clears throat> maybe Ryan was there too. I think it was a lot of the American guys that were there, we're all sitting together and we were talking about pedals mm. and all the, like all of them basically agreed upon that all the Lawrence Petrol stuff is the most amp-like pedals they've ever right. played. So they, sure. they really feel like amps. Mm. So that's kind of what you just said. Yeah. That's what they all said. So let's see how that goes. So my guitar with P90s clean sounds like this. My guitar with P90s clean sounds like this. Let's turn the reverb down a bit. Start with the um, sparkle. I mean, that's to me very, 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 very familiar. 
Like, I sure. know that very well. And it sounds good. Mm, it does. Oh, yeah, it does feel different, doesn't it? Do that? Is it as dynamic as that? Because that's massively dynamic, isn't it? No, and it it compresses. To, you're, you're, yeah, you're right. You're totally right. It's interesting. Yeah. Not necessarily in a good or bad way. No. But they sound very close. Yes. But it's very different feel playing them. Yeah, I I never thought of that. So that it does feel. It's just an amp gain stage, and that yeah. feels like you're playing a distortion pedal. Yeah. Who would have thunked? Yeah. I wouldn't have thunked. <laughs> I, I never thunk. <laughs> well, let's do. It. Let's let's go. Even though I never use it that way. Let's crank the gain. Sure. And see what happens. Sounds good. Oh yes, that's good. It's a bit heftier. It's mm. it's it. It's chubbier. More booty. It has more um, junk in the trunk. <laughs> it's a very different feel of compre like com the compression is very different. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay, let's go back to sort of more like where I would have said it. Yeah. In that sort of clean setting. Sure. Just because that's sort of a familiar spot for me. <laughs> These pickups are too hot. I would have used my Jazz Master. Tone. very differently doesn't it yeah I never do the volume thing so I'm not going to do it I'll, I'll do it I guess for people watching but I never do the volume thing I have a, I mean totally unrelated I have people messaging me and asking me about how on the side guitars because there's apparently a treble bleed thing on the, on the pots ah. and they said oh so how do you like that do you like that or don't and I just I never I always go full volume so I don't know. It makes no difference to me. Interesting how different they feel yet how similar they sound. Yeah. And again, Try not necessarily sense. one better than the other, but no, it's just what you prefer. Yeah. Um, it's so hard to describe the feel of an overdrive pedal over the internet. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Uh, well, of course. Turn dog. Turn dog's in the house. Hey, turn dog. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, that's unfair now. That's an unfair advantage uh, over the sound. It's not going to make me play any better. Quickly do the same thing with this. Mm. So this is my uh, 1978 Greco, EG 500 possibly. Uh, there's a video for that here, by the way, uh, and it's got Fishman Fluence Classic Humbuckers in it. Big thank you to Ken, Susie, and all the awesome people at Fishman for sending this out. Uh, I really dig this guitar uh, and clean. It sounds like this. Oh, I'm in drop D. Drop D, and I'm going to turn the treble, the treble, the reverb down a little bit. So this is what it sounds like. Just of those settings with this with the humbuckers, I actually much prefer that. Yeah. With the others, it sound. I mean, this is just purely sound. Yeah. Much, almost much of a much as with the, with the single coils, I almost preferred the thick thickness of that, mm. if that's a word. Thickness. But with this, that sounds oh. killer. That <laughs> thickness. 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 Thick thickness. <laughs> thickness. Thickness. Thickness, yeah. It's more thicker. Almost a bit. Um, oh, you need that on. You need that on. Was that was it off? Yeah. It's almost a bit missing a bit of top end. Yeah, with the with the totally authentic guitar, I much prefer that one. out yeah let's go without the boost yeah I don't like I don't I, I mean I, I usually always used to always use jazz masters live yeah um, so I didn't do the, the humbucker thing too much um, with that but um, that's almost too much for this I think this guitar There's, it has too much too much uh, power It sounds blown out, whereas this one. But 
now the big question is yes how will they interact <laughs> Let's just use the boost as a like a we'll go front, boosting front end. <laughs> That's like massively compressed. Um, yeah, it's interesting. It's it's they do feel very different. Mm. I think single coils. Very identical sound. Humbuckers, I'm... Sound changes as well. Sound changes quite drastically. And I have to say, I really I prefer the 68. Interesting. What do you guys think? Yeah, let us know what your thoughts, thoughts are below. Below. Um, and I should mention, so this was sent to us by Lawrence Petros. This is something I bought. ZVEX hasn't sent us anything. Uh, I'm a massive fan of ZVEX, and I'm becoming yeah. a massive fan of Lawrence Petros design. Yeah, we love both of their so, companies. So it's yeah, just, so it's just, it's just, I mean, this is, yeah. no one wanted us to do this video. <laughs> I wanted to do this video. And I'm not, you know, saying something because he sent us pedals and they haven't. Um, I genuinely love both companies. Mm. Uh, and I really like both pedals. And I was actually quite surprised how different they felt. I never, I never expected the feel to be that different. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Links below to our Instagram, Facebook, yeah. and a podcast. And like we said, yeah, start the conversation below the video. What are your thoughts? And um, yeah, do you have one or the other? Yeah, what are your favorite plexi style pedals? Because we've done a couple, hey. Like that could be interesting. The Lagrange by Bogner is one that I would really yeah, that's like to try. But the prices are just stupid on yeah. those things. Um, it's another thing we could go down the rabbit rabbit hole with. Yeah. Plexi Town. Plexi Town. So yeah, let us know about your favourite Plexi pedals below. And um, go from there. We'll see you soon. Catch you.